The Crown Prosecution Service has acknowledged it has twice failed to bring charges against Mohammed Al Fayed for sexual abuse. The former Harrods owner, who died last year at the age of 94, was described as a monster earlier this week by lawyers representing alleged sexual abuse victims. Women say he raped and sexually assaulted them while they worked at the luxury department store and accused him of cherry picking women to brought his executive suite. As the legal team said they have heard more than 150 inquiries into Fired's alleged crimes, a CPS spokesperson has now said evidence against the Egyptian businessman was provided to prosecutors by the Metropolitan Police twice. In 2008, Fired was accused of indecent assault against a 15-year-old girl, which he denied. The CPS did not prosecute the case when it was presented in 2009 over conflicting evidence. He was then alleged to have raped a woman in 2013, which was investigated by the police in 2015 but did not lead to any charges. While the CPS did review both files, the spokesperson said, to bring a prosecution, the CPS must be confident there is a realistic prospect of conviction. In each instance, our prosecutors looked carefully at the evidence and concluded this wasn't the case. It marks the first time the service acknowledged the 2015 investigation. The CPS also provided the Met Police with early investigative advice for fired in 2018, 2021 and 2023. It comes after the victim's legal team confirmed on Saturday they had received over 150 new inquiries after a BBC documentary on Fired aired. It also followed the former head of royal protection saying he warned the royal family about Fired's reputation before Princess Diana took Prince Harry and Prince William on holiday with the businessman's son.